Hey Brambleton, this is Miss Couts, and today we're going to take a tour of one of my favorite free reading apps that's available through the public library. You do need to have your public library card to access the books on Hoopla, so if you don't know where that is, or you don't have one, go and find it, or there's a link in the description box down below where you and your parent can sign up for one for free. So check those out, and once you're ready and you have your card, come on back and we'll log in together. I can wait. Okay, now that you're back, you should be able to see my phone on this side of the screen, and I'm going to walk you through how to access Hoopla on your device. You can also access Hoopla on Hoopla.com. You can download the device or the app to any device that you have, your iPad or your phone. So here's the app, and when you click on it, I'm going to ask you to log in. If you've never been to Hoopla before, you're going to have to create an account by choosing Don't Have an Account at the bottom. It's going to walk you through a bunch of prompts to add your library card and to create an account. I already have an account, so you go and do that while I log in. Okay, so here we are. When it opens up, you have access to any of the books that you have checked out in a tab called My Hoopla. You can see the books that I have checked out here. I'm really enjoying this book, which is the Newbery Award winner for this year. It's called New Kid, and it's a really good graphic novel. I highly recommend it. The cool thing about Hoopla is that if I'm reading a book, you can also read it at the same time. There are no limits to the number of people that can check out a book at the same time. So it could be a really great virtual book club if you and your friend want to read the same book at the same time. It's awesome. Also on this My Hoopla page, you have access to your settings in the top right hand corner. There's a gear. If you click on the gear, you can see that about halfway down, there's a tab called Recommendation Settings. This allows you to choose the books that you would most be interested in seeing more about. So you can choose books or types of music or movies that you would be interested in, and Hoopla will make recommendations to you when you log in to help you find books you might not have otherwise picked out. Also on this page, you have something called Kids Mode. This is a pretty cool feature because it allows you to cut out the adult books that you might not be interested in. If you turn on Kids Mode, it'll only show you books that are meant for kids up to the age of 13. So if that's something that you think you might like, you can go ahead and turn that on now. I'm going to show you another way to filter out the different types of books to find books that you guys might like, so just keep this one in mind. Now on the bottom you have access to all of the different types of items in Hoopla. Video, music, and my favorite, ebooks. So I'm going to click on books and it automatically sends me to the audiobooks page where I can see some recommended audiobooks or some popular audiobooks that Hoopla thinks I might like. At the top there's also a section for comics as well as, oh, all of the Big Nates are here. So if you guys are a Big Nate fan and you're missing them from the Brambleton Library, you should definitely check out Hoopla. And then you can also look at just eBooks that you can read here as well. So there's a, I need a new butt sounds like a really funny story. <laughs> One of the ways that you can narrow it down to find books that you might like, since there are so many books in Hoopla, is just like the Brambleton Library, Hoopla is sorted by genres. So if I click on the genre tab, I can see tons of different genres, way more than we have at the library, that you can choose from. One way to find books that you might find in our middle school library is by choosing either the um, juvenile fiction button here, and it will give you even more genres to choose from. Juvenile fiction is anything that is 13 and younger, so you'll find a lot of the books that we have in the Brambleton Library there. Or if you scroll down to the bottom, all the way to the very bottom of the genres, you'll find young adult fiction and young adult nonfiction. A lot of these books are available through the Brambleton Library too. You can scroll, for example, to um, Dystopian would be a really good one, and look at all of the books that are in the dystopian category that you might want to read. There's some really good ones here, including a lot of books that are very popular at our library. So if you were waiting for one or had one on hold and you're anxious to check it out, you might be able to find it through Hoopla. I really like the book Life As We Knew It. And if you click on that book, you can click borrow, add it to your My Hoopla page. You can read more about the book here. It will tell you that it's a part of a series. And one of my favorite parts is it gives you the genres that it falls under. So you can find, click on those genres and find books that are similar. 
It even gives you other authors' names that are on Hoopla that you can click on to find similar books that you might like. For example, if I click on Rick Yancey, it recommends the book Fifth Wave to me, which is also another book that I really like. So it really helps you to find books that you might be interested in by giving you a lot of different links to books. I hope this has helped you. I hope you're able to find a book that you like. Send me an email if you find something that you think is really good. I'd love to add some more books to my to be read list. And happy book hunting. Bye.